Titanoboa vs Megalodon If you're not subscribed to our channel please subscribe. It is impossible to determine who would win in a hypothetical fight between Titanoboa and Megalodon as both of these species are extinct and lived in different time periods and environments. Additionally, both animals evolved to survive in their respective environments and were not designed to fight each other. Titanoboa, the largest snake ever discovered, was a constrictor snake that lived in the tropical rainforest environment of South America during the Paleocene epoch, approximately 60 to 58 million years ago. It is estimated to have been 42 to 48 feet, 13 to 15 meters, in length and weighed up to 2,500 pounds, 1,134 kilograms. It is believed to have preyed on large fish, crocodiles, and even other snakes. Megalodon, on the other hand, was an enormous prehistoric shark that lived during the Oligocene to Pleistocene epochs, approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago. It was found in oceans worldwide and is considered one of the largest marine predators ever, with estimates of its length reaching up to 60 feet, 18 meters, and its weight reaching up to 100 tons. It is believed to have preyed on large marine mammals, such as whales and dolphins. Both Titanoboa and Megalodon were apex predators in their respective environments and were highly adapted to survive and thrive in those environments. Both animals had specialized physical characteristics that allowed them to be successful hunters. Titanoboa had an enormous body and powerful muscles that allowed it to constrict its prey, while Megalodon had a massive jaw and sharp teeth that allowed it to bite through the thickest of bones. It is impossible to say who would have won in a fight between these two animals as they lived in different environments and did not have the opportunity to interact with each other. Additionally, the size and behavior of these animals suggest that they would have had different hunting techniques and prey. Titanoboa would have been an ambush predator while Megalodon would have been an active predator. Additionally, Megalodon was a marine animal that lived in the ocean while Titanoboa lived on land. These factors would have made it difficult for them to have come into direct contact with each other. Furthermore, it is important to remember that these animals were not designed to fight each other but rather to survive in their respective environments. Titanoboa and Megalodon were successful in their environments because of their adaptations and behavior that allowed them to thrive. Comparing them in a fight is not only impossible but also not a fair representation of their evolutionary success. In conclusion, while it may be interesting to speculate about who would win in a fight between Titanoboa and Megalodon, it is important to remember that these animals lived in different time periods and environments and were not designed to fight each other. Both animals were successful in their respective environments due to their adaptations and behavior, rather than their ability to defeat other species. Comparing them in such a way is not only impossible, but it also doesn't give a fair representation of their evolutionary success. Thanks for watching. If you liked the please give a like. Please subscribe to our channel.